Hey YouTube, welcome to Daddy's RC Addiction. I'm Steve, this is my daughter, Lane. I just got a comment from Ryder Marquis. He has a, he has the Hobby King Firefox C129 and he said he crashed it and he was trying to mechanically fix the pitch curve. Now, the Firefox is a, um, fixed pitch helicopter meaning that um it doesn't really have a pitch pitch curve it is fixed because of the blade like this this is a fixed pitched blade if you look at the blade it is slightly curved so that when it spins it creates upward lift uh, unlike a collective pitch which has no curve at all so let's take a closer look at both of them and we'll try to help Ryder Marquis out with uh, fixing his helicopter mechanically. Subscribe. Ding the bell. So this is a collective pitch helicopter. You have pitch, roll, and elevator, um, which you have three points of control on your swash plate um so you can move it back, uh, left and right or forward back uh in addition to those controls which help you maneuver around you also have the pitch control so when you give your helicopter throttle not only are you increasing the speed of the motor you're also changing the pitch angle and this is what helps you go up in the air or if you're flying inverted helps you stay up in the air while upside down so negative pitch positive pitch and you'll notice the swatch plate is moving up and down now let's take a look at fixed pitch so here is a fixed pitch helicopter the same setup as the hobby king firefox c129 uh, the blades have a pitch already, already fixed into them, so there is no collective. Um, and if you notice, so here we have we have roll response and we have elevator response, but there's no pitch uh, response because that is done already with the shape of the blades being rounded. So if you notice, watch the swash plate. When I increase throttle, the swash plate does not move up and down. The blades move and that's it. The blades, the blades moving is what causes your uplift. So Ryder Marquis said he had crashed his Hobby King Firefox C129 and he needed to mechanically fix his pitch curve so like I said the pitch curve is set by the actual blade it's a set or fixed pitch setup so what you need to do is if you've broken one of these links this one or this one you need to pop it off be careful because it is only plastic and they can break very easy but you got to pop this link off here and here and you have to turn the end so that when it's when both of these are set up the swash plate from the side is pretty much level to the ground and from the front is level to the ground so you want a level swash plate um, looking at it from the front and looking at it from the side you want the, the swash plate to be level to the ground now it doesn't look level in the camera well, let me see if i can get it if you look at it from this view, the swash plate is pretty much level to the ground. It's got a slight backward lean, which is not that bad. If you want it to, to move forward a little more, you just lower this, you screw this in a little bit, and that'll move the swash plate down, and you have a little bit more forward lean. Um, and if we look at it from the front, this swash plate is pretty much level to the ground. So in essence, you're not really fixing the pitch curve because the pitch curve is set. All you're doing 
is leveling the swash plate so that when you fly your helicopter, um, it isn't moving constantly in one direction, either left or right or forward or back. Um, so the idea is to mess around with these two links so that you get your swash plate level to a point so that um, your helicopter will hover for the most part in one place without moving in one direction when you're not manipulating the control sticks. Now for a collective pitch helicopter, what you first need to do is turn the helicopter on. Make sure you have the hold button on so that the blades don't start on you. Um, you move your throttle stick up to center. And what you're looking to do you move your throttle stick up to center and what you're looking to do is get your blades perfectly even with one another. Now, if they're not, when you move it to center, the first thing you wanna do is you want to um, take off your links to your swash plate um, and mechanically level the swash plate, uh, bringing the blades as close to level as you can. Now, if you can't, sometimes you can't get it level only by moving the links, by adjusting the links. You can get the swash plate level, but sometimes the blades aren't quite level. Um, so then that's where you need to go into your radio and in sub, sub trim, you need to move the, whichever link you need to move up or down to get your blades level. Once you've done that, you're good. Now this, is related to pitch curve, but pitch curve is a different setup. That's how much pitch you have throughout the throw of your throttle, and that is done in a radio. Now for fixed pitch helicopters, you don't have any control over that. It's fixed with the blade, but with a collective pitch, you do have control, and that's another video all together. So, Ryder, I hope this answered your question. Uh, if not, leave me a comment. Uh, and also, if you want to see some really cool uh, biking videos, um, Ryder Marquis has some really cool biking videos on his channel. I just watched one where he was biking with a buddy down a road in the snow, and it looked pretty sketchy and scary and exciting and really cool all at once. So I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Check it out. Ryder, I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or something you'd like to see on Daddy's RC Addiction, please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and ding the bell. Now go do something fun today. Subscribe. Ding the bell.